I must have overlooked something. Right. The way I'm riding casually into my hard-earned sunset. And how you managed to get a hold of a horse in order to do that. You don't get out much, do you? Aha! Uh -huh. That's a... Uh, what's it who's it's? You use it to... thingamajig. Any tinkerer can tell you that in an instant. Oh, you poor thing! My senses were unable to identify you. If you have a brain implant, please step a little closer. If not, swipe your ID card through the reader again. And if you aren't an Elysian, GO TO HELL! Yank food! Problems? You know, some hospitality. They won't let me in. Ah, good to hear. We've done enough damage as it is. <laughs> you don't know me very well. I'm just saying, you're gonna save the world sometime in the future, right? So it would be most inconvenient if you were to be thrown overboard before that. Honestly, is your glass ever half full? Huh? What now? That's bound to be security! Quick, hide! Dawdling. When we're finally married... Wait a minute. Where's Mrs. Kinkle? And what's all this luggage? Surprise! I talked Mrs. Kinkle into letting me accompany you to Deponia instead of her. What? Are you out of your mind? Your father will never allow it. My father doesn't need to find out. So, what do you say? I say never. Really? You may be able to wrap Pops around your little finger, but just because he agrees to our engagement doesn't by any means mean that I have to agree to it. That's blackmail. You can call it what you like, but if you don't take me with you, you can hold your breath to marry me until you're blue in the face. It won't happen. Impossible. This trip to Deponia isn't some jaunt to the beach. I have an important inspection to carry out. Ah, oh, I almost forgot Precious's bathing costume. I said it isn't a jaunt to the beach. Anyway, how often have I told you to stop calling that animal precious? Well, what would you suggest? None of those. He's called poisonous. Uh, after all, he is a highly poisonous plague spit monitor. One lick of his tongue and bam! could bring down a fully grown elephant, no problem. And despite that, you were planning to take him to Deponia, but not me. Believe me, there are many more dangerous things down there. Bacteria, radiation, tetanus, and there isn't an antidote in the whole of Elysium that can help against Deponian gangrene. By the way, did I pack the antidote for Monitor Plague Spit? Ta-da! You see? I could come in very useful down there. By carrying my things around without permission, everything must be safely stowed for my trip to Deponia. The roads down there are paved with danger. Junk avalanches. Insurgent Deponians. Oh, give it a rest, will you? Those stories are nothing more than urban legend, and my inspection will prove precisely that. Huh, so what's with those lights you can see at night? They are from the Organon. Are Ulysses' men supposed to prepare the detonation of the planet in darkness? Hmm. I'm still skeptical. My travelogue is sure to convince you otherwise. You, the Council of Elders, and everyone else. These rumors are purely the product of general anxiety. I mean, we're detonating our home planet in order to catapult Elysium right across the cosmos to Utopia. Who wouldn't be nervous? Hmm. Yeah, but... Enough chitter-chatter. Here. Pack this away. Does that mean I can come? Oh, do say yes. Why should I take you with me? So you can cause even more chaos. Just look at how you stuffed the antidote in there. Which bag is that, anyway? The one with the rat traps. Rat traps? You've got to be joking. There isn't a single living thing down there. Not even a rat? No! I'm sure there'll be mice. Stop trying to distract me. The antidote belongs in the pharmacy bag, if only because it causes such heavy-duty flatulence. Oh, 
No. That's a bit rich coming from you. Huh? Huh? What? Whatever. If you want to come along, you'll need to put on some sturdy shoes. So that means I can come, yes? Oh, Kalitos. Perhaps you aren't the self-obsessed monster that everyone thinks you are after all. Yes. Those idiots simply have no feeling for perfection. <laughs> I'll be right back. Uh, I regret this. If only she wasn't quite so hot. <laughs> Engaged to the daughter of the Prime Controller. Oh, Cletus, you are quite a fox. Sure that he travels to Neponia without goal this time, then hopefully this will just be a brief cameo appearance. The question is, how do I get past him undetected? Ah! Hey, stop! Come back, you pandemic pestilence! I can't reach that from here. Reach that. F Please direct your attention to this interesting detail. What I wouldn't give for a all I need for that, and a false uh, ten out of eleven. Not bad. I can't reach that for. a new type of yoga? I'm stuck! No problem. Have you out of there in no time flat. <laughs> Aha! That's a... Any team. I can't reach that. Sure, the question is. Please direct. Please direct the elevator. My senses were unable to identify you. Please enter your ID card. card. sticks out his ass, his true identity is revealed. My senses were unable to identify you. Please enter your ID card.
bad little plague spit monitor. Heal you, Toad. Duh! That stupid salamander. Stuffing would be too good for him. Boat. Better get a move on. Uh, I can't reach stop. that from here. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> hey, you there. What are you doing here? Who? Oh, me? Of course you. Do you see anyone else? Him. <laughs> Attention. Prime controller on deck. That'll do, Argus. Ulysses. <laughs> Inspector, would you be good enough to tell me what's going on here? Uh, uh, yes. Well, uh... Stop stuttering and stand up straight. I thought we'd agree that everything would be ready by the time I arrived. It is. Thus far, you've given me the impression that you're a reliable man, Cletus. Do yourself a favor, and don't spoil it. As you know, my daughter's hand is conditional. The Council of Elders must never find out that Deponia is inhabited. Where's your assistant? You are going to introduce her to me. Oh, my assistant. <laughs> she forgot something. Forgot? Heavens, Cletus! I thought she had a brain implant! You vouched for her! But I assume she has been made privy. If she... Uh, yes, of course. C -c completely privy. Everything's tickety-boo. <laughs> There's absolutely no cause for concern. I hope not. Argus, make sure the assistant has the ascension codes loaded into her implant. Very well, Prime Controller. Keep an eye on the civilians. I'm going for a shower. It's about time this horrible, dirty old planet got blown up once and for all. At ease! What's wrong, Cletus? You seem nervous. That's an understatement. A goal says she will only agree to our engagement if, if I allow her to accompany me. Ha ha ha! Not even engaged, and you're already under the thumb. You find that funny? Why not? You'll talk her out of it, won't you? You don't know her like I do. Heavens, Cletus! Ulysses will... Ulysses must know nothing of this. I just have to keep Gold in her cabin. As long as she doesn't see a Deponian, then everything will be fine. I still don't like it. What if you make a backup of her memories while you load in the Ascension codes? Then, if needed, we could reset her memories. <laughs> a backup of her consciousness and the Ascension codes. That might work. Ugh, one week down there and everything stinks of feces. Fortunately, we'll be rid of Deponia soon, and Goal will have a clean planet to live on. I hope she's at home. I think feces was a little harsh. <laughs> the silent ones are the deadliest. <laughs> so what? <laughs> no one there.
Shall we give Lovebird Grey another go? But Sugar Plum, we've already decided that it's too gloomy for us. Maybe you should get an expert opinion. Oh, I didn't even see you coming. <laughs> what can I say? I'm like climate change, but you can call me Rufus. Oh, <laughs> you're a real joker. I'm Henna, and that's my husband, Tanner. We're the new neighbors. We've got a little problem setting up home. We just can't find the right curtains. The sissy soft drapes have these great conservative frills, but the pattern's not traditional enough for us. The limp bound blinds, on the other hand, are pretty middle of the road, but they, they aren't quite namby-pamby enough. You know how it goes. In a marriage, crises come with the territory. Oh no, nothing can cast a shadow on our love. Apart from perhaps the right curtains when we close them for a little smoochy woochy. <laughs> How about Goosebumps? When I hear you talk like that, my skin crawls. Unfortunately, Goosebump is only available in the colors Squirrel Bath and Slime Bag. <laughs> Perhaps we should have them send some more patterns after all. I don't know. I find the selection suits you. Goal? Psst. Goal! Damn it. <sighs> I'll have to rely on my detective skills to avoid crossing Ulysses' path. Or I could just follow that angelic voice through that passage up ahead. Gold never told me that she once had braces. <laughs> How sweet. I call it. Etude for goal in Upper A7, Karios. Knock, knock. May I come in and disturb your shower? My lovely eh, silhouette of a naked, hairy old man. Hey, Dad. Um, I'm going camping in the floating gardens for a few days with some friends. Is that okay? Oh, of course it is, my little cream pup. Just so long as you don't reprogram the park attendants into cartridge music players again. You're the best. Bye. Come on, no way. for crying out loud. I missed her. Hey, who's there? What are you doing here? Uh, room service? A clone? Are the service bots out of order again? Ah, uh, yes, there's a bad outbreak of a roboculosis at the moment. Very contagious. On level five, even the toasters are already coughing. Is that so? Oh, never mind. Take my helmet to the cleaners and be gone with you. Very well. How long does he want to stay in that shower? No, he's going to come out rumple wrinkle skin. Ha, huh, I made it. And it's even more beautiful than I had dreamt it would be. The elephant who sacrificed its tusks for this piano apparently suffered from severe tooth decay. Almost every other key is black. Don't they have dentists here? Say, ah. Uh. That was F sharp, you Philistine. <laughs> Goal? Yes? Uh, who's that? You must not go. Right, I've had enough. Who are you? Did my father send you? If so, you can let him know that I'm making my own decisions now, and him trying to spy on me is about the last straw. If he has anything to say to me, then he can kindly do that in person. The conversation is now over.
sound was not try again. Ready! Oh, uh, you again? Do I know you? Not yet. We better change that! Yeah, put it on the list. Oh, why so grouchy? It's such a wonderful day. And if you don't know where to enjoy yourself first, no problem. I can answer all of your questions. Oh, great! Question one, is there another interface available that doesn't talk my ear off? This is Elysium! You can find whatever you wish for here. You've just got to take the mallet. Mallet? What mallet? Oh, boy. Some ne'er-do-well has made off with the mallet again. Never mind. That's why I'm here. Where do you want to go? You can do with a little fun. So I suggest the fun zone. Fun zone? Oh, yeah. That sounds like fun. Then there you have it. The fun zone it is. Welcome to the fun zone. Collect 10,000 fun points and win a great prize. Choose one of the many attractions and most importantly, have fun. 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 It's funny. Hi, uh, hey Rufus! Uh, we should definitely do that again sometime. Hey man, I think the guy over there is trying to get your attention. Huh? Where? Oh, him. Nah, no, that's just my chronicle. 
Hey, 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 I want the time loop. And why is he getting in such a flap? No idea. All I can hear is... <laughs> Good thing I'm an expert at reading lips. I think he's saying... Time for bed. That was, that was, that was time reset. Starting tomorrow. And some choir is farting. To me, it sounded more like time reset starting. Yeah, but that wouldn't make any sense. Unless, of course, uh oh. For crying out loud, I missed her again. Hey, who's there? Uh, room service. Uh, the service bots have, uh, robo uh, uh, thingamajig. Oh, well, if that's the case, uh, take my helmet to the cleaners and be gone with you. Okie dokie. Ah, why is there a time reset now? That doesn't make any sense. I should talk to McWhats's face. Say, ah. Uh... That was F sharp, you philistine. Uh -huh. Goal? Yes? Uh, who's that? My name is Rufus. I don't know anyone called Goofus. No, it's Rufus. Doofus? No, Roo. Roo? Do, no, Roo. No, but, but fuss is right. But fuss do what? No, I... Oh, never mind. My name doesn't matter. Well, I see that somewhat differently. Actually, I'm in a bit of a hurry. If you can't even speak your name aloud, I can't help you. Well, that does all sound very exciting, but unfortunately, I don't have time. Farewell, stranger. No, stop! What a letdown. <laughs> Where do you want to go? You could do with a little fun. So I suggest the fun zone. Uh, no. I have to hurry to the locks. Uh-huh. A very popular choice today. Then off you go! Oh, no. The cable boat has already left. Huh, what do I do now? Uh, uh... Do you want to hear my suggestion? McChronicle, what are you still doing in the air shafts? Not interfering. Yeah, incredibly productive, especially now that time has been reset. I know. Someone must have used the crank on the chrono car. And now they have to celebrate Barbecue Thursday all over again. That'll teach them. I fear not. If they didn't have tinfoil hats on, they'll do exactly the same thing tonight. And then again and again. And we're stuck here and can't do anything about it. It's the end of time as we know it! You mean, today will just repeat itself forever? Huh, I can imagine worse. Like what? Well, today wasn't a bad day. I had fun. Just too bad that Goal is here. Maybe I can persuade her in the next loop. Then we'd be happy here on Elysium till the end of time. But that's just not possible. Time would never move forwards. Yeah, I got that part. You can stop with the advertising already. But, oh, oh, what have I done? <laughs> oh, 
Are you one of the elders? Yes, but don't get all excited. The Council of Elders doesn't meet again for a week. Unless, of course, if someone wins 10,000 fun points in the fun zone competition. But the competition has only just started and can't be done in a day. So why don't you just relax and pet some cute striped sables instead? <laughs> why not? Well, because... Damn it, he just has a better argument. Are you one of the elders? What I am is particularly busy right now, so beat it. Verse things first. The vending machine for your own personal worst case scenario. Caution, bones and teeth are not automatically removed. Worst idea ever! Hey, that actually verts! Vert! Vert, vert works! Are you one of the elders? I'm not on duty, if that's what you are asking. But it's an emergency! Nonsense. There are no emergencies on Elysium. We have a machine that prevents all problems. It's called... Computer. right place? I wanted the Council of Elders, not assisted living. Hey you, wake up. I'm awake. I absolutely have to speak to the Council of Elders. With pleasure. In a week's time, we have our administrative intercessional meeting with blueberry muffins. Don't forget to bring a cake fork with you. I can't wait that long. We're locked in a time loop. I need to speak to them today. An extraordinary meeting? <laughs> You're having a laugh. That only happens if there's a catastrophe. Or, of course, if someone reaches 10,000 fun points. But, but, but... I can't get 10,000 fun points. Patience. We set the score that high on purpose, so that it's impossible to achieve it in one day. But there only is this one day, and then it all repeats itself. You mean your points account has been deleted? Uh, kinda, sorta. Hmm. Then we should get the computer core checked out. I'll send someone over. <sighs> Finally. First thing tomorrow. Da no! Thanks for nothing. No problem. Yuck! They're all waxy. Looks like the sun melted them a bit. Ouch! Hot! What are you doing? What do you think? I'm accelerating your tanning process. Oh, how friendly of you. Thanks. Although, don't you hear that alarming sizzling sound? Yeah, <laughs> that's just your pigments throwing a party. And the smell? It's a barbecue party. Ah, how nice. This is waxy enough already. Ugh, maybe I should think about washing my inside pockets. 
As the gooey residue of melted pleasures dripped through his fingers, he asked himself, is this the irony of fate or just another side effect of inhaled plastic vapor? There's still music in there. Unfortunately, I don't know the score. What can I say? As red as Tuck's nose at the Mud Cake Festival. Huh, him again.